Good day to you all. I hope you are well. I am of the opinion that you can learn a great deal from your ancient culture's beliefs in gods and heroes. In Western societies, much of our cultural knowledge was absorbed into Christianity early on in the development of Europe, and then it was lost to the conscious mind. Our beliefs became so heavily syncretized that we forget the original meaning of most of our cultural landmarks. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight is a good study of the tension between old pagan Europe and the chivalrous ideals of the Christian knights. Today, I want to read an excerpt from the Poetic Edda. The translation I'll be reading from is the 2015 publication from Hackett Publishing, translated by the great Old Norse specialist, Dr. Jackson Crawford. He is the very best doing translation of Old Norse texts today, and I recommend you look into his work and purchase his books. The more you support him, the more great work he'll be able to do. We are reading Baldur's Drummer, reading Baldur's Dream. Shortly before his death, the Shining God began to have distressing dreams. Odin, who has been harvesting warriors for an indeterminate long period of time, senses that something is amiss. He rides to Helm to speak to a witch, who gives him insight on the potential meaning of these distressing dreams. I've spoken a lot already, so I'll be short with my primer. What does it mean for the gods to feel dread? What should a god be afraid of? The Norse gods are delineated between the Asir and the Vanir, Bronze Age gods of war, and gods of fertility and harvest who may have come out of the first agricultural revolution. They are principal powers and perhaps union archetypes. Therefore, when the world is afraid and the balance of nature is being disrupted, humanity is fearful as well. It is notable that Ragnarok kills most of the Norse gods. What could kill a god? And what happens to human beings if you do? Once, all the gods met for a conference, all the goddesses met for a conference, and the mighty gods talked about why Baldr was having bad dreams. Odin stood up, that father of gods, and he saddled his horse, Sleipnir, and he rode down to hell till he saw the dog of hell. The dog had a bloody chest and barked a long time as Odin passed. Odin rode on, the stones of the road rattled till he came to the high house of hell. Then Odin rode east of the door to hell, and there he found the grave of a witch, and then the battle god spoke a spell till her corpse was forced to rise and spoke, Who is this man unknown to me who has brought me back to loathsome life? I was buried in snow, pelted by rain, drowned in dew. I was dead a long time. Odin said, I am the road tamer, son of corpse tamer. Tell me news from hell, and I'll tell you news from above. Whose arrival are these benches draped with the straw for? Why is the floor all covered in gold? The witch said, the mead is brewed for Baldur's arrival. A shield is placed over that fresh brew. All the gods are in suspense. I was forced to speak, now I return to silence. Odin said, don't go silent, witch. I want to ask you more, till I understand everything, and I want to know more. Who will be the killer of my son, Baldr? Who will steal the life of Odin's son? The witch said, Hoth will bear the long spear that will kill him. He will be the killer of your son, Baldr. He will steal the life of Odin's son. I was forced to speak, now I return to silence. Odin said, Don't go silent, witch. I want to ask you more, till I understand everything, and I want to know more. Who will avenge Hoth's crime? Who will put Baldr's killer on the funeral pyre? The witch said, In halls to the west, Rhind will give birth to your son Vali. He will avenge Baldr when he is only one night old. He will neither comb his hair nor wash his hands till he puts Baldr's killer on the funeral pyre. I was forced to speak, now I return to silence. Odin said, Don't go silent, witch. I want to ask you more till I understand everything, and I want to know more. Who are the women who weep in longing, who throw their necklaces up into the sky? The witch said, You are not road tamer, like I thought you were. No, you are Odin, the aged god. Odin said, You are neither a witch nor a wise woman. No, you are the mother of three monsters. The witch said, Ride home, Odin. Feel triumphant for now. But you will come for a second visit when Loki breaks free from his chains and Ragnarok comes to end everything. <laughs>